Vlog 55. Hey guys, Vendik here, back with a vlog, vlog number 55, we're going to do vlog 55 now, vlog 56 next, okay, so that's how we're going to do it, just the way I've decided to do it, uh, so vlog 55, right meow, let's get stuck in, first of all, um, trying out a different mic setup, trying out, uh, just trying to nail my manual focus on this as well. So if at any points in this vlog I go a bit out of focus or um, the, the audio is a bit poppy, it's um, it's a learning curve. It's one humongous three and a half year learning curve. Uh, so it's a thing, um, and I, I, I sincerely apologise, but um, trying trying my very best, trying my very best. I promise. Uh, so that's a thing, that's a thing, that's a thing. Um, what am I vaping on in this vlog? I'm vaping on this, the Elfie RTA from Coilmaster. Um, a brand new single coil RTA from them. Uh, two and a half mil capacity. It's an interesting choice, isn't it? Um, two and a half mil capacity, so not TPD, unfortunately. Um, but pretty solid. It's got sort of um, a Serpent Alto deck, a uh, single coil affair. Really... It's really nice so far, really enjoying it so far, you know, zero points for innovation, new poids, but um, it vapes, build quality is great, vape quality is great, so what are you going to do? Um, inside there I have a juice called uh, Baboose uh, from uh, Derailment, uh, which I got from Just Add Um eh, I wouldn't, I'm not even going to attempt to describe Baboose. Um, go to just a nick that could have came, check it out. It's got banana in, it's got a whole heap of other stuff in as well. Um, curry powder, cheese, it's mad. Um, so yeah, so it's a crazy juice, but I like it. And I really like it around this wattage mark. 33 watts on the cuboid light off of Joytech. Um, decent, isn't it? You know, what you're going to do? I think it's decent. Um... Like I said in the review, if you haven't seen it, um, the mod's great, the tank wasn't. So, there you go. Uh, so, you know, first opportunity, tank, bin, put a different atty on, happy days, because it's a good mod. So there we go. That is what we're vaping on. Um, let's go straight into the comments. Let's do a few minutes reading comments from the previous vlog. That is what we do on this vlog. We read the comments from the previous one. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Richard Davies says the Aspina is pronounced Amphispina. 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 Eh, I think it reminds better. Amphispina. Um, anyway, apparently it's a mythological ant-eating serpent. Ant eating serpent with a head at each end. And uh yeah, he said he had to Google that. Um Fair enough, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You learn something every day. There's your take home value for this vlog. Stay tuned though. Um the EH Pro Tank. Oh, John Paul Rimac says the EH Pro Tank can work on any mod, but only one side of the tank works. Oh yeah, so that's the fusion uh, two in one, the two tanks in one each coil independently powered by a different uh, wattage. Um, yeah, so if you take that tank with a fancy 510 that allows it to work and you stick it on another mod, it just fires one side because it connects. It only connects to the traditional 510, not the fancy extra bit. So, yeah, that's the thing. That's how that works. That's, uh, doesn't Yeah, that's the thing. Um... Uh... Oh, Camo, Camo, oh, says, you speak too much before the thing you're supposed to talk about. Boring. Right, I know what this is about. I know what this is about. Um, this is about the fact that, sorry, I'm looking at my viewfinder because I'm trying to see if I'm in focus, and it's really hard to tell. Um, <laughs> um, so what Camo is on about is the vlogs I say in the vlog what new stuff I'm going to show you, um, and so what he's saying is, you know, you've put, you've titled the vlog, Joytech 
wah-wah, and you don't start talking about the Joytech wah-wah until 25 minutes in. Um, to that, I apologise. All I can do is go back to timestamps, and I know it's, it's really lazy that I haven't been doing timestamps. Um, all I can really do about that is go back to timestamps, and I know it's really lazy that I haven't been doing them, uh, but I will try my best to do the timestamps for this vlog. So check the description if you're looking for a specific bit, and just click on the timestamp. Um, so yeah, that's the thing. Uh, apologies, Camo. Um, Porsche 911 says, any look with the website dude for the juice? Oh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means at all. Um, ah. Oh, it might be on about um, homebrew. If you go to my Instagram, find the picture of homebrew. Well, just find uh, a homebrew. Homebrew's Instagram page. There's some um, vendors on there. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Chris Prov says, "Great vlog, Richard. Thank you very much." Shane Smith says, "Since you're a custard nut, as I am, what do you think about about that this one sitting on your shelf?" And I replied to that actually, and I said. I really like it. I don't love it, but I really like it. It's really good. It's good juice. Um, there are a couple of other custards slightly above it in the pecking order, but I really like it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, Schnibbler64 says, love that you're constantly trying to improve. Another good reason to keep tuning in. Uh, yeah, if you can stick it. If you can bear with it. It's... Um, I am trying to improve, and to be honest, that's what keeps me going, because... That really adds a fun factor to this, um, the constant search to improve. Uh, that is why I'm trying a brand new microphone set up today. Um, I, constantly trying to improve, uh, is, it, it makes it enjoyable. If you're just stuck in a rut making the same videos every every week, every day, uh, it gets tiring. Even if you're getting new vape stuff, you know, vape stuff gets tiring as well. So it's, um, it's, an, it's a lovely element to this hobby. Um, and so, yeah, I'm, uh, but I genuinely am trying. Um, I know my up close needs work as well. Uh, I've moved the camera around actually up close, um, so uh, y so you're facing the same way as me. You're looking at the device like I'm looking at it now, um, which seems to be a more popular way of doing it. Um, it's brought it some challenges. I still need to get the lighting right. Um, I really want to persist with the green background, but it is a bit dark. Um, so we'll see. Uh, I really like how chilled it is, you know, and different, but there we go, we'll have to see. Uh, loads of people just saying, thank you. Uh, Schnibbler64 says, coil turd and coil wipe should join forces. And I said, for sanity reasons, if nothing else. Um, just realised I've got my phone in my pocket. That's never the right place for that, is it? Um, okay, so <laughs> tell you I'm constantly trying to improve and then spend two minutes digging around in my pockets. And I can't cover my notes up with this phone. Right. Good times. Good times. Okay, so yeah. Good times, good times. Right, one last comment, one last comment. I should have said that, I just go. Oh, all Dave Ape all Dave Apes says, uh, have you ever watched the thing? I haven't I haven't watched the thing. Uh I've heard it's a thing, but I haven't watched it. Uh and that is comments for this vlog. Right, previously reviewed items. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Okay, so let's go through a few of the things. Uh and I'll just tell you if there's anything new. Uh, K-Pin Mini. That seems to have gone down all right, actually, that K-Pin Mini. Um, I didn't know if people might go, uh, boring. Because it is what it is. But I actually think, if you've been vaping a while, you may have accrued several of these Kanga SSO CC coils. So it's nice to know there's something out there that you can use those with. Uh, and it's pocket friendly, and it is what it is. And with all those coils, it's it's you know it's quite versatile. And it's solid, and it's Kanga, and it's a thing. Um, but no, nothing new to report. Battery life isn't fantastic, but that will completely depend on what coil you have in there, I'm sure. Uh, so that's a thing. The Elif Tria. 
tough review that one because functionally nothing wrong at all functionally nothing wrong at all um but it's just a bit boring isn't it it's a complete square literally square um boring screen it's just nothing about it it's just, mine is just all black one big black lump of a brick isn't it um but functionally superb does exactly what it says on the tin so you know they're tough reviews those because you have to say you have to hold your hands up and go look there's nothing wrong with it it's great it's fine but um, hmm. uh, this on top is the coil master rdta we'll come back to that um what else the scrape emotion i still think it's great i think it's fantastic again tough review because I can't fault it because I love the Squape vape. I've had several Squapes before. I love that style, that vape. It's a thing. Yeah. Um, have I noticed anything new with it? It's just great. I've gone now. I've finished reviewing it. I've gone back to the B deck, which is just so perfect. Um, so that's a thing. G v GTRS V Boy, solid, 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 solid. Um, nice. A good. They put a good. They put a good board in a pretty solid mod and the results are two thumbs up uh, very affordable high end board if you like uh, K-Fun Lite we've touched on great board oh sorry great mod great mod rubbish tank <laughs> check that review out if you've missed it because um, the tank's naff um, I will come back we'll be actually be coming back to that tank in a bit actually uh, the sinuous uh, from Wismec this is a thing. This is a thing. I don't have anything further to add about the sinuous from Wismec. But Wismec, when I do, every time I do a Wismec review, preaching to the choir probably, but every time I do a Wismec review, I get grief. Like, oh, don't review these guys anymore. They're awful people. Um, you know, they've done bad things in the past, and that's a thing. I totally respect your ability to choose what companies you're prepared to buy your products for and i have some of those i have some of those historically you know my some certain mobile phone companies or whatever uh that i wouldn't deal with again certain gas and electric companies i wouldn't deal with again um and that's cool but maybe just don't watch the review at all you know totally optional isn't it if if loads of people stop watching the Wismec reviews, then the number will be too low for me to bother with Wismec anyway, and I'll tell them to leave it. Really got to vote with your feet on that one, because the view count's fine, but then the comments are horrific. So, I don't know what to do. And all I can do is, like, it's kind of irrelevant what that company has done in the past and are going to do in the future. It's kind of irrelevant to me, because I'm... My sole purpose is to critique that one device that I've received. And if it's solid like that one was, what can I do as a reviewer? I can only say, yeah, so you like about Wismet, this is solid, which is what I did in the thing. So you really want to point that anger in another direction, I would say. Uh, I don't know, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Uh, it's cool, it's cool, but. I don't know, it's, it's, people seem really angry with me about Wismec. <laughs> I've had very little to do with the ongoing running of Wismec to this point. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Therion BF, uh, mint, if you like, regulated squonking. That is mint, proper mint. Um, battery life is the main issue with it, so that will be come down to your vaping style. You will know yourself if it's... Uh, up for you or not uh, we've reviewed loads but that's probably about I mean because it's been ages since the last vlog I do apologise for that but that's the that's the gist of it I think yeah I think that's the gist of it so let's move on to what we've got coming up for review okay so what we've got coming up hmm sorry I'm not supposed to be taking this break I could have been doing this in the little edit that we just had mm. tea I usually drink coffee all the time now but that what that does is it makes a cup of tea very special mm. so coming up for review not in this order must make that very clear some of these things will never get a review um, but uh, coming up for review 
technically speaking. Uh, I have this. Now, everyone's done a review with this. Short story on this. This is the Coilmaster Genesis RDTA. Now, it's a big old lump of an RTA, RDTA. Uh, it's a thing. It's got velocity posts. It's not earth shatteringly different or anything like that. It works absolutely fine. They sent it to me the same time they sent it to everyone else who's already reviewed it. Um, but a couple of days after sending me, they said, stop, no, don't review it. Please don't review it. We'll send you an updated one. And I hadn't even taken it out of the box at that point. And I was like, oh, fair enough. That does happen. That that happens more than, you, than you'd think. And I was fine, fair enough, pushed it to one side. And then started seeing all these reviews flying in for the Genesis RDTA. And I was like, well... Okay, <laughs> what? Uh, fair enough. Um, and then they contacted me like another 10 days after that. And it was like, oh, if you want to re review that RDTA, you can. <laughs> uh, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> uh, fine. Uh, they were like, we don't, we don't need to send you an updated one. If you want to review that one, you can. So that is why I've not done it and everyone else has. Um, and I haven't seen what other people have said, actually, to be honest, because I, I thought the point was going to be moot. But... Um, it's a big RDTA with a velocity style deck and a big old tank. It's a very tall and beefy thing. Um, it does nothing wrong. Let's have a little. It's very big, I should say. It's very big. It only just fits on this uh, trier, this eye stick trier. Um, yeah, so it's a big, big lump of an RDTA. Um, it's been performing absolutely fine. You know, if you're getting into building, I, I, I'm i almost at the point of suggesting starting with an RDTA now. Because they're so simple, aren't they? They're so simple. Just two coils in, bosh, wick, bong, out of the door. It, you, it's great in that respect. So, I don't know if I'll do this because it, it seems a bit pointless now. But... Um, it's here anyway, it's here, and it's supposed to be reviewed. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Hmm. It might end up in the next vlog as the thing that never got reviewed. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what my schedule's like. Um, what else we've got? This, the triple. Oh, I don't have any juice in it. Or any batteries. Um, this is the triple RDTA. Uh, uh, no, sorry, RT8 from Vandy Vape. It's huge. <laughs> it's absolutely huge. I don't know how big it is. 26, 27 mil, something like that. It only just fits on this. This is the 2700 Captain. Um, a mammoth of a thing. A humongous mammoth thing and only 4 mil capacity. The reason for that is it's a humongous RTA with three coils inside. It's got three coils inside this thing. I wonder if I've got just enough juice to give you a blast. Go on, let's have a, let's have a go on this. Come on. Just a weird thing when you put batteries in it is the checking the battery level thing. So 77.7 uh, watts on the triple from Vandy Vape. So I'm going to go just getting warm. Even if the tank was full before I did those two vapes, it'd be empty now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it's a thing. It's a um, big, cloudy, three-coil monster. Um, what I need to do before I review that is try it with two coils. Because the three-coil thing, it's fine and that, but um, I don't think it's for everyone. I think it adds complexity that's not required. I think an RTA needs a third coil, like a car needs a fifth wheel, you know? Um, don't point out that they have steering wheels and a spare wheel in the boot. Um do you know what I mean, though? Like, a third coil in an RTA, is there any need at all? Um, even if you're a super cloudy person, you can get so stupendous amount of clouds out of two coils, so just don't really get that. Um, so I do want to try it with two coils, because if it works with two coils as well, uh, adequately, then then it, it's all right. It's massive. It works. Um, the deck's interesting. Uh, the wicking thing is a slight uh, niggle with that. We'll see about that when we do the review. Um, but it's a thing, I, and I know people are interested and excited about that, and I'm not being negative about it at all. Um, 
let's just wait let's just wait and see because I'm still halfway through my process with it so um, it's a thing it's a thing um, the RX machine oh god where do we start the RX machina Wizmech have produced a mech with an RDA um, it's the RX machina uh, Jabo Wizmech collab type thing you know um, it's a 2700 tube mech mod um, it comes with a sleeve so you can use it with 18650s and um, it comes with this RDA that um, has like a two post clamp thing going on um, which is interesting uh, in one slight gripe I have with mine the o-rings on the top cap are not tight enough but I've spoken to other people that have received this and theirs is fine so I'm just going to try and change the o-rings and see what happens uh, so that's not a major negative at this point especially if it's literally just mine in the whole world uh, that has that problem so that's fine um, the other thing I've had is um, iJoy 2700s which is probably the most popular 2700s they're insanely snug fit in here I've been using these the um, Amp King Inakin ones which fit fine so uh, yeah so I need to try and see if I can force another one in there to prove or disprove that but again I know someone that's using iJoy batteries in here so again that's awkward awkward thing now the real the real thing here um, the real debatable thing and it comes with uh, changeable sleeves which is um, interesting uh, you know, you know, you can change these sleeves to whatever you like. Some cool screens, cool. Um, there's some cool sleeves um, available now. But the really interesting thing about this, the thing that's going to cause the debate, is the button. It ain't a button, <laughs> really, in the traditional sense. Um, what it's got going on inside is a cage, and your battery goes into this cage, and. Uh, you lift the battery up to the contact when it's in this cage and everything inside here looks to be metal and there's some sharp bits in there as well and I'm just worried about the ramifications of putting a battery in here with a tear in it now we're not supposed to do that but it happens you know sometimes you don't notice you've got a tear in a battery and I'm just worried about what happens then because there's a moving parts in here making the battery do the work is such an interesting and strange way to go with a mech um, you know buttons exist so you don't have to do it you know like um, for example a light bulb you know so uh, you're in your living room or your sitting room or your restroom no that's a toilet isn't it um, you're in a room and it's got a light up there and we've invented these buttons haven't we light switches we call them and it's to save the act of going and putting the light bulb in or whatever yourself uh, it, it's almost like changing that to be a thing where you have to get on a seat and push the light back into the socket I know that's not how they work but it, it, like to turn a light on you have to go and tap the bulb <laughs> every time you want to do it uh, rather than just press the button you know buttons are invented to perform a simple task easily aren't they um, that would otherwise be annoying and so to make the battery move and not have a button button switch um, is, is firstly quite unusual thinking uh, but then I'm I also I need to look into the ramifications because if this whole thing is uh, I just worry I'm just worried about it a bit and so I'm not rushing this one I'm really really trying to uh, I'm really really trying to Figure it out. Figure it out. Got a rocking building here, though. In normal use, it sort of performs okay. Um, the other thing is, with lifting the battery as the operation, it takes all the class out, you know? It takes all the smoothness and the lightness out. You, you literally finger your finger weight in a, a battery. You, you lift, you're physically lifting the battery with your finger. Um, it's a thing. It's an interesting thing. I think it looks great. I think, just purely visually, I think it looks fantastic. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, don't know yet. 
don't again I don't know I'm sorry these this is why it takes time you know this is why you can't just bung a first look up really fast um so that's the thing um this I also got this this is the now again if you if people want to correct my um pronunciations they can again with this uh basilic basilic I believe it's called the basilic and it's from centaurian which is like um I believe it's like a branch of Votofo, from what I understand. Um and it's a it's a resin based mod, a, a regulated variable wattage mod. Um I'm led to believe that uh oh oh, oh I'm led to believe that uh, oh oh wow. Oh, how do I unlock it then? Ah, right. I'm led to believe that um, it doesn't have TC. It doesn't seem to have TC, which is an interesting move. Uh, screen going on here. It's got uh, two 18650s in here. Uh, it can fit. It looks like it can fit up to 24 mil on top. Uh, it's a nice sort of size. Um, you could level at it. It looks like some other mods that are already out. I think if that would be fair. Seems to work okay. Five clicks on, five clicks off. Um, it, I've got to say, it's quite dapper looking. It's just a little bit unfortunate. It looks like something else. Um, so that's um, depends on how you feel about those sort of things, you know. Um, yeah. So that's the thing. That's the thing indeed. So that's coming up as well. Uh, the next thing we also have in is the Elfie. We just talked about it a little bit uh, before. This is a uh, Coilmaster Elfie RTA. Um, a single coil RTA. It's got that serpent style deck. The serpent alto specifically is the one it is most like. Um, top fill, two and a half mil capacity, single coil only. Um, quite, it's it's a loose. You know, it's a fairly loose uh, lung hit, fully open. Um, like that fairly loose you know fully open it can probably go up to 50 watts quite comfortably with this uh, even though it's single coil just because the airflow's there and it wicks fast it's got that sort of gta style to it um so you your cotton's just poking down and there's a little bit of room underneath for the juice to fly around um like i said before it's not super innovative it's a lot like a lot of little other bits and bats but you can't argue with the build quality or the vape quality off it so it's one of them one of them Zero points for innovation, but um, vape's great so far. So I need to try some more builds and stuff. But uh, oh, it's I tell you one thing: a very uh, it's something that I really like about this RTA, um, and it's true for some and not for others. And sometimes, it, you know, it is a thing, and sometimes it's not a thing. But um, oh my god, it's so easy to build on. I can build this and wick it and have it up and running as quickly as I can screw a new coil head in a clearomizer it's literally a two minute build because the posts are perfect you know you just go wham tight tight wick bosh and away and that's so simple so so simple uh certain rtas are murder and certain ones it doesn't matter some are okay the, oh, certain ones are just so easy to build on i love that i love how easy to build this is and yeah like i say it's a nice vape just like the serpents were very serpent-esque vape you know I'm going to review that quite soon because I'm quite happy with how I feel about that. Um, also got this. Now, we just talked about the Exceed tank that came with the Cuboid Light. This is the Exceed D19. It's uh, an all-in-one jobby. White at the bottom, black at the top, mine. Um, don't adjust your TV sets. Um, it's, it's just a standard sort of stick vape. USB charging at the back there comes with the D19 version of the Exceed. I assume the coils are the same. Um, this one is 1.2. I assume they're the same size as the one that came with the Cuboid Light. It has this option on the airflow to... Oh, it lights up a bit like that as well. Um, it has the option on the airflow to go to little holes for mouth to lung or wide open for a lung hit. Let's do that. Even when you're long hitting, it's still very restricted, actually, to be fair. Um, yeah, so the thing is, with this one, though, 
and this is was exactly what I said in the review for the keyboard light. It might just be that I've got a duff coil or I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a quality control issue. I don't know. This coil has been okay. It's been absolutely fine. So I don't know. I don't know now. Um, if you need a pocket mouth to lung, it's fine. If you need a pocket mouth to lung, this so far, first impression, it's been fine. Been absolutely fine. Flavor's not bad either. So I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but that's that's the XC D19. That'll be a quick look. You know how I operate. Uh, that'll be a, a quick look. Also got this in as well. Nearly done. Also got this uh, as well. Uh, this is the iStick Tria. No, no it isn't. It's the iStick Trim. This is the iStick Trim. A very narrow vape. Uh, so width-wise, you know, it's almost like a tiny Ego Twist or Ego, you know, pen. Or width-wise, it's like a pen. Um, but it's sort of like that. Um, it's actually quite tall. Um, I mean, it's as tall as this 200 watt mod, really. Um, but it's the width. They've gone for it an insanely narrow. I think the thinking is, you know, it go in your pocket great because it's so narrow. Um, that's the thinking, I think. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So it's what it's got on top is, it's got your battery indicator on top. Uh, and, and it's got low, medium and high and so you can adjust the voltage going in here so I've got it on low and I've got the tank pretty closed off it's got that really old school mouth to lung feel when you close it off and use it in low it, you're, you're really um, clawing for the vapour Very authentic, original mouth to lung esque. Um, it, you can I could turn it up to so if I go one two three, I'm, I've now put it to medium, and I could open my airflow a little bit. The airflow is like a rubber ring thing, which is not. Yeah. Um, so let's go halfway with the airflow. And you get a different vape again. Um, I need more time with this coil head. That's the only thing I really need more time with, but the coil head, simply because, as it stands right now, and this might be total nonsense, but as it stands right now, the flavour's not there at all. Um, this airflow ring's not very good, actually, I've got to say that. Um, uh, the flavour's not there so far, and might just be because of the breaking in period, you know? One advantage this will have over like this, I would like to hope, is battery life. Do you know what I mean? So, horses for courses. Uh, what I would say about this, though, is a very thin little tank, so not many other tanks would go on here. Not many modern tanks would fit on here flush. You literally, you're resigned to using this tank if you're using this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and we got that off. So that is all the new stuff. Okay, time for reviews for things that never got. A review. Okay, so this. Ah! This is the Mesh RD8 from Vandy Vape. Um, uh, just not sure. I don't know. I never really. I never managed to get it vaping in the way that other reviewers were saying they were. I've in, no, I tried four mesh builds on here, different types of mesh, different size of loop, all that stuff, um, and I just I won't. I, no matter what I did with that mesh, I was getting clouds, but not getting any flavour. Not not no flavour, but muted, really muted, a really muted flavour from this mesh RDA. I don't think building with mesh in this way is a thing. I think you can do some amazing things after lung wise using mesh as a wick. I don't think it's a thing for RDAs. I genuinely don't. This RDA works with normal coils. It works with normal coils, but it's not designed perfectly for normal coils. Um, it doesn't really have a juice well uh, as such. Um, it has a plate. <laughs> and, and so if you're using it with cotton, I just think there are better RDAs. Vandy Vape have better RDAs than this for, co uh, for cotton and, co and canthal, you know? So... <sighs> 
I don't know. So I, th- I guess just leave it. I'm just. This is one where I'm just going to leave it to my beautiful friends uh, to review because I just couldn't get it going right. Um, I don't know how, where they're getting their flavour from because their bills look the same as mine. Um, I think they're better. Canthal RDAs around, same price range, so I wouldn't recommend it for that. And I genuinely couldn't get flavour from Mesh in that style. In that style. So there we go. So that was that was the uh, Mesh RDA from Vandy Vape. And, you know, I'm I'm well on board with a, a lot of Vandy Vape stuff. Not a slight on Vandy Vape at all. I guess it's just me. I guess it's just me. Just one of those where... I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, a couple of uh, my very good vaping friends, uh, reviewing friends... Uh, agree with me um but um yeah i i, I tell you what um there's this guy you won't have heard of him he's called dean the vaping biker right um and if you just put in vaping biker into your youtube search bar you'll find him he's reviewed that he's reviewed that mesh rda and i pre- i'm pretty i'm pretty much on the same page as him with it um so there we go it's it's fallen through the cracks i have just not managed to get it going like everyone else seems to have managed to get it going, so it's not happening. Um, so check out that vaping biker guy. Um, yeah, so that's the thing. The other thing that's not getting reviewed, this is official now, I've talked about it on loads of vlogs, it's official. I'm assuming um, I'm assuming Joytech will drop this. One, two, three, four, five. And it's officially stopped working. Match- battery might be too low, I don't know. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Aha! <laughs> it's the um, E key from Joy Tech. Um, it doesn't matter. I, I'm assuming they'll drop this because it's I just unfortunately just been a bit of a fail. Um, Joy Tech do some amazing stuff. Cuboids, what have you. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. Some great stuff. Some great stuff. Um, so not a slight on them at all. I think the Procar Ares is a pretty decent tank as well. Not knocking them at all with this. Um, I just think it's one of those things didn't quite work out. They went for this fashionable style of fancy mod-looking thing. Uh, it's based on a BMW key, a smart key, apparently, or something. Um, and it's got this cool shape, this interesting shape. It's got this all going on. Buttons in an interesting place. It's got this whole thing going on. Um, but it doesn't sit down. You can't put it down like this. It just wobbles over. And that's just a deal-breaker. <laughs> that is just a deal-breaker, really. You just can't be messing with that. Um, so I guess for that reason, that reason alone. I've just never been inspired enough to bother reviewing it. It's just such a fundamental flaw, you know. Um, I need to reach out to Joytech and tell them. Um, I think they've probably figured it out. And they're probably not bothered anymore because they're probably dropping it. Um, and it's not against them at all but just with such a fundamental flaw it just wasn't worth the amount of you know a day and a half's work for something that i'm ultimately going gonna go ah, it's not gonna don't bother guys you know um so the e key from joytech i think it'll just be it'll drift off into the uh it'll you know it'll disappear in wisps of vapor um Nothing wrong with the tank at all. Nothing really that bad about the way it performs either. It's just that. <laughs> it, it won't um, It won't sit up. It won't stand up. Um, so there we go. Okay, next thing. We need to talk about general, just general stuff now. Just general matter. We've, 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 we've packed this out, haven't we? Uh, apologies if it's a bit long. Um, there's just a few other things to do. The charity raffle. Thank you all so much. Anyone that got involved with the charity raffle, super pumped uh, with how that went. Uh, really, really pleased. Nearly £500 raised for Guide Dogs for the Blind. Um, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Hmm. Um, and I'm just blown away by how many people got involved and how well it went down and how good it all was and everything and it was fantastic um really pleased just really pleased congratulations to keith on winning um yeah 
It's, it was great. I'm really pleased. I, I learned a few things from it. A few things I'd already been warned by um, other people uh, that do these kind of things. Uh, I should have done. A f- I shouldn't have done all so much for one prize. I should have split that up into three. Had a first, second, and third. Um, and yeah, and that would have been more appealing. And I totally get that. Um, I should have done some reminder, updatey videos and stuff as well. Uh, I should have asked other reviewers and things to share it around other groups and forums and things like that should be more proactive asking people to share it around thank you to the people that did share it around that was really nice of you to do um and obviously i'll return the favor i already do whenever i see one i do try and share it um so yeah so i'm I'm really pleased that went and uh, i think in a good in a in some ways it was good that it didn't get too big and too well seen and things because you know we needed to work out the kinks uh, i think the email thing worked fine um the ticket thing worked great uh, i think it was good using a website like that where you can just i don't i didn't no one told me they had any trouble uh making a paypal one-off donation so that seemed to work great so i'm really pleased with how the raffle went thank you all so much that got involved and the people that didn't get involved no problem at all D- don't mind at all totally understand no need to worry about that uh, but the people that did, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, so, yes, so that's a thing as well. Last thing, should we make this the last thing? Oh, where do we start with this? I've seen a lot of... In the past two weeks, I've seen a lot of negativity aimed at reviewers. It might just be me because I'm 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 in the scene and so I see it from all angles and maybe I'm hypersensitive because I am one so it always pricks my ears up so I always hear the stuff and see the stuff. I, what I'm seeing is people being very aggressive towards reviewers on their own channels, really negative comments, offensive comments, um, people demanding certain things from reviewers that seems a little bit unacceptable when you consider they're just doing a hobby. Um, People holding reviewers to a certain standard that even exceeds their own standards as well. And and just a general attitude towards reviewers of, you know, oh, here comes the reviewers, Um, free-loading, filth-peddling, lie-shouting idiots who uh, don't deserve our time, who even watches reviews anyway... Thing, um, I don't know what to say because I'm very much preaching to the choir here. You guys are sat, you've been sat all this time watching this vlog, um, and so I guess I'm preaching to the choir. But re- reviewers are just doing what they want to do. They're just doing a thing that they like. Um, they're, they're just doing they're just doing a thing that they enjoy doing. It's just a for ninety percent. It's just a hobby, and I don't know. I can only assume that half of the negativity comes from jealousy, really. Jealousy that they've got something new that they didn't pay for. Um, I'll tell you what, when the mailman calls me, my heart sinks. Because what they're effectively passing me through the door um, is homework. They're passing me more work to do at home. You know, when you get given, you used to, at school you used to be given that assignment, you know, it's that... Oh got to do this when i get home and that's not because i'm 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 fed up with this or i'm over it but it's because i've already got quite a lot of things in and more things come in and i'm like oh i'm not oh great i've got this thing that i would have never bought myself anyway uh, it's it's impossible to talk about this without sounding ungrateful and egotistical and, and all that sort of stuff but genuinely it's half of the time it's pleasure, half the time it is pain. Some of the, these things that we get sent, we've already got 10 of them. They're very similar, and we've got to make another video because we, you know, created this sort of false obligation. And we're just doing it because we, you know, we enjoy it half the time, and the other half, you know, we, we want to, you know, put it out there, you know, because we said we would, and because, we you know, you guys want it. And I don't know, I just feel like if you're not into vape reviewers, if you're not into YouTube reviews, don't just don't watch. But don't, I don't know, don't bash reviewers. You know, they're just vapors just like anyone else. They're not in any way superior or insuperior. They're just, we're just 
blokes who vape and just put it on camera. You know, it's just the same as everyone else. I, the free thing gets old so fast, and it's not free, is it? Because I'm going to be working my ass off on it. Days, days and days of effort for a £20 sub-tank. You know, that works out at a pound an hour. <laughs> you know, so I could have just done some more work, real work, and bought it myself and another five of them. So it's it's not a thing. It's not this thing that it's free. It's not a thing. Um, There's a lot of crap that goes with reviewing. Um, There's a lot of crap with go, goes to reviewing. I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's hard work. But it is time consuming. It is time. It's really time consuming. And it's time taken away from loved ones and in other important things like fixing the fixing the back door and things like that that I'm supposed to be doing right now, mowing the lawn and stuff like that. You guys have seen my lawn. Um, it takes away from other things as well. So, you know, even if, you know, even if it was playing snooker or drinking beer after so long, after 10 hours of playing snooker, you might be a little tired of it. After after 20 pints of ale, you might be a little tired of beer, you know, and but we carry on doing it anyway, and it's not because we're not we're, it's not I'm not saying it's rubbish or anything like that. I'm just saying that there's absolutely nothing to be jealous of. <laughs> there's absolutely nothing to be jealous of reviewers for. Um they've made a very silly choice. They've got themselves in a bit of a pickle and um yeah, it, it's uh <laughs> it's uh, it's not something to be jealous of whatsoever. Um, it's not a job. For, for, for channels of my size and people of my mentality, it's absolutely not a job. But when you're doing it when you don't want to be doing it, because you have to do it because of the backlog and all that sort of stuff or whatever, you know, it's not a hobby either. You don't. There's no hobbies where you do it even when you don't want to do it. A hobby is you do it, do something repeatedly that you want to do. So it's not a hobby either when it gets to that point. So it's not a job. It's not a hobby. It's more like it's more like volunteer work, <laughs> um, but volunteer work that you can't not do. <laughs> um, so uh, my point is just. I'm not sure where the negativity towards reviewers is coming. Um, uh, over, I only thing I think is jealousy and annoyance and uh, th this mentality th that certain reviewers are dishonest. Um, and so I guess that's sort of bubbling up a bit of um, dislike. Also, when a vapor gets to a certain point in their vape lifestyle, often they give up on reviews because they can make their own mind up from pictures, what they need, what they like, what they want. And they'll be buying way less stuff because they're happy with what they've got. And there's a natural point where a lot of people stop watching reviews for whatever reason. And it's those people as well that don't even watch the reviews that still seem to have a problem with the reviewers. Like, oh, who watches rape, 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 vape reviews anyway? And it's like, well, and it's like, well, I tell you, who watches them new people, people that have only been doing it a while, people that need assistance, they need help on knowing about a new thing or seeing a new thing or how to build a new thing or just getting into it in general or what does this mean you know it's the first two years of a vaping journey that tend to be the people that watch these things and let them just watch it and it's not it's not a thing to be cross about or throw crap at um so that's that also as well with it if you're gonna hand it out um, if you're going to hand out the criticism, hand it out evenly. Um, don't um, people seem there seems to be this thing where there's a window of time in a vape reviewer's stature where they're zero to five thousand subscribers. Let's call it that as a window of of, of amount. Um, up to that point, it's like oh, it's just it's just Vic. Oh, it's just Vic. He's got a little channel. Bless him. He's he's okay. That's a thing. You know, let let him. Oh, bless you. You know, it's fine. He's got. You know, he's fine. He's fine. He does his little silly thing. It's the thing. Um, and then there seems to be a window of five to fifteen thousand subscribers, and and that point is the point where they don't like you, <laughs> and that is the point where they're like, oh, this guy, he gets loads of free stuff, even though he's not even that good, and he's. I mean, oh, and he said that was good, and I got one, and it was naff, and so he's naff. And the rubbish, and then there's a point over fifteen thousand subscribers, where they are, maybe even higher than that, twenty five, thirty, where they go, oh that guy, that guy's ace, 
He's ace. He's got more subscribers than that guy who's naff, remember. This guy's good, though. This guy's good. I like this guy. He's not after free stuff. Um, you know, he's he's got a big channel. It's uh, if, if people want to send him free stuff, then that's fine, because he's got a big channel. And it seems to be this, like, massive divide in, like... Uh, it's like, oh, bless him, bless him, bless him. Naff, naff, nobed, nobed, nobed. Epic. Love this guy. He changed my life. Um, so, I don't know. I just This is what I've seen in the last few weeks. I just don't get it, really, at all. So, um, although I just maybe I'm just trying to stick up for reviewers a bit, but we're just normal people. Just, just have this weird, silly hobby, and we're just doing it, and... I can only speak for myself. I'm not. I'm not courting anything, or I'm certainly not looking for free stuff. I'm turning down way more free stuff, week by week. Um, it's not a free stuff thing. I oh, don't know. You know, these things like these raffles and randomly giving people stuff on Facebook is, is, just to get rid of it. It's get rid of it. So you know, if it was a part of a, if I get a free thing and then spend two days on it and then I give it to someone. Yeah, the free thing. I mean, I've got plenty of vapes. <laughs> I don't need any more. So the freeness of it is massively irrelevant. I don't know. How, I don't know how I came across in that ten-minute spiel. Um, I just want to throw it out there that we're okay. We just we just got a weird hobby. That's all. So don't hate us. Um, and I bet again, I know that probably you guys are not of that mindset anyway. Becoming quite a theme now that I have a strange. If I think if you just let me inside my own brain for too long, it gets weird, and so after half an hour of every vlog, it just gets weird, and the weirdness comes out and it gets weird and nobody's happy. Um, so apologies for the after thirty minute weird bit of this vlog. Stay tuned for the next one next time. Um, so that's that. Loads of cool stuff coming up. Um, I will now begin compiling stuff for a new raffle. Um, because the next raffle will be more current, so from this day on, so the new stuff from this day on will be used in the next one. So it should be a better calibre of things, because the last one was like a pile of everything from the past. Um, you know, so the next one should be pretty solid, um, pretty solid. Oh, for those, this is again back on this tangent, uh, for the, for all those people that were very negative towards Wismec in the... Um, in the Wisbeck Sinuous FJ200 review. Um, I am continuing to use this daily um, to give you an update. In the next vlog, I'll let you know I'm getting on because it'll be quite some time of ownership. Um, and I'll let you know I'm getting on, but it's rock solid so far. No real problems. It's not my style of vape at all, but um, it's rock solid. It really is. Um, so I will give you a full update on the Sinuous FJ200 next time. Um, I know that's not enough reason to watch next time, but uh, it, uh, that's a thing that'll happen next time. There'll be some reviews for things that never got reviews. If if you're still watching now, right? If you're still watching now, um, I need what I want to do is a live program. I want to do a live, not just a total one-off. I just want to have a mess around with the live YouTube live thing. On my channel, so I'm going to do a live video and I'm going to do a Q&A. So please put in the comments if you're still watching at this point uh, any random question, vape related, non vape related, anything at all, any question, and I'm going to do a live Q&A on my channel in the next couple of weeks. And I'll when because there won't be many people watching, so there won't be many questions live. Uh, I will be able to refer to the comments to ask to answer the questions there to fill the dead air. Um, so. Yeah, I'm going to do a live Q&A at some point, just for fun, just because I want to have a play with the YouTube live thing. It's back to what we were saying about constantly trying new technology, constantly trying to improve everything, and uh, it's just something I want to experience and have a go at just to see what opportunities there are there. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to do a live thing. So please ask a question in the comments, anything about anything. I guarantee it will be answered in that live video. Um, so that's the thing. Oh, let's let's wrap it up because this is crazy now. Um, I've been Vape Vic. Thank you for your continued support. Um, I love you a lot. Uh, no, I won't go that far. But I, yeah, I'm, I'm appreciative of you watching. That's for damn sure. Um, thank you to everyone that got involved in raffle. Super super chuffed with how that went. I've been Vape Vic, and I'll see you on the next review.